Thank you for staying with us. This is journalist Angatua reaching you from TVC News here in Lagos, Nigeria. For some time now, air passengers in Nigeria have been suffering and smiling over flight delays and cancellation. The federal government said it will soon issue an order compelling airline operators to commence payments of compensation to passengers for delay and cancellation, cancelled flights not caused by natural occurrences. At a meeting with airline operators, the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Guillermo said, ask them to establish reliable communication channels for passengers to receive cancellation notices. <laughs> well, um, this is the ideal situation. This should be the ideal situation. We look at the statistics. Mm. In 2022, domestic flights recorded 47,144 delayed flights mm. with airpiece, overland airways, and Asman taking the top spots. Mm. I'm not surprised that airpiece is here. <laughs> One, they are the market leaders. They have more, more, sort of, more uh, sought after, uh, more, more, more flights flight. mm. than anybody. Mm. They have more flights than anybody, and for that reason. Mm. I think they also have operational challenges because the rate at which they delay, only God can intervene. <laughs> you know? So, if they were operating in a different country, they probably would have sued them out of existence mm. because it would destroy people's plans. Mm -hmm. if, if I add... If, uh, an interview, for example, what people do in Nigeria is they simply, if you have an interview tomorrow morning, even if it's 11 a.m., people would rather travel the day before. Day ahead, though, mm -hmm. to be safe. Oh. Yes. Don't even say first flights. No. Mm -hmm. First flights are far more reliable mm -hmm. than, yes. but there is no guarantee. It's difficult. That even first flights won't be delayed. <laughs> first flights get delayed. Someone told me, ah, you don't want to, just do first flight. Don't bother yourself. I've done first flight before. <laughs> six first five. flight meant to go 645. <laughs> I didn't go until okay. like 11. <laughs> <laughs> so don't even tell me first that flight. first flight uh, that uh, there is guarantee. No. <laughs> this same airline that we are talking about, one day I left Kano. We left Kano six, uh, around 6 p.m. coming to Lagos. By the time we got to, um, no, we, we were to leave Kano 6 a.m., 6 p.m. Mm. for Lagos. Mm. We didn't leave Kano until 4 a.m. And when we got to Lagos, the trucks that were supposed to carry our... 4 a.m. 6 p.m. From 6 p.m. To 4 a.m. <laughs> you know, you sleep, you sleep, you wake up. You sleep, you wake up, and imagine nobody. Not even 20 that day, Things that I didn't plan to buy because I just had to while away time. From the VIP, I will come into uh, those places where you had the shops, uh, like buy biscuits, you know, just with the woman there. You look at the hours now. I was, what do you see? Because I have slept for hours. I would get up and see this no party and there's no, no, the flight was not ready. We left 4 a.m. Hmm. We got to Lagos, I mean, 4 a.m. We left, I think, some minutes um, past three or so. Hmm. We, we got here 4 a.m. By that time, those who are supposed to carry our luggage, it's like they went to wake them up. We wasted another 30 minutes. Before, our, uh, before we could collect our luggage. So it's a problem in our country that we have not addressed. If it was possible to sue these people, mm -hmm. you know some Nigerians at a point, they will get frustrated, they will start attacking them. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They did it to Max Air now. Mm -hmm. they, they destroyed their uh, computers and all that. People get frustrated. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing is they will not even explain to you. That is it. You are just waiting. No, you, are just yeah. you are in the dark. You don't mm. know what don't the problem know. is. Yeah. Some people, well, someone call it to go and ask, ah, what is delaying this yeah. thing? They will, not, they will not say anything. Mm. They will just say, we mention operational issues. They will, they will apologize. So I was in the flight one day when the people say, we don't need your apology. Leave us alone. We don't need your apology. <laughs> 
You know, it's just a one line now. We are sorry, it was due to operational, whatever, mm. whatever. And that is it. If people were able to sue them mm. and effectively they are, they, are made to, effectively. they are made to pay some fines mm. Honestly. or compensation, monetary pays. compensation for this, it won't be happening. Now is a minister that was saying, look, you have to come up with a system that ensures that once it's not uh, natural issues, you know, then you have to compensate people. But even that one, if they tell you that, okay, they couldn't fly because the weather was bad, how do you, Abi? do you work in the meteorological uh, uh, center? How will you determine whether it was not caused? Mm. Sometimes it's aviation fuel, really. Mm. Or sometimes I was, there was an airline that was owing money. <laughs> they were to refuel mm. before going to Abuja. The flight was full. The, um, the vendor said, no, unless you pay me I'm what you are owing. We had them to ransom. <laughs> the, uh, the passengers lost another 30 minutes. A fully booked flight. Until they look, look for money, they paid him. No, he then gave them the, the aviation fuel and left. Mm. So a lot has to change about the about that uh, sector in our country. And so, Asuko, the last time I was coming from Abuja, I just noticed that we we had one hour delay. And the next thing they did, they started sharing, sharing food. The, the food. I said, ah, I did come here to eat now. <laughs> What's happening? I knew that I was in for it. The next thing I saw, maybe after two hours, I just discovered that Epis just gave me their international flight. They just brought in one, uh, what's the name of that? Uh, Airbus, yeah. if Airbus. you see from Abuja. Very big. Very big so Airbus. Combined very very spacious. Yeah. They just brought that Airbus. Combined At everybody. <laughs> like Sati. <laughs> I said, man, but that's the only way they can... <laughs> We regularize the delay mm. that has been they've made so far. That they... yeah, I, I think uh, when these airlines they have operational problems, you know, it is good they don't even they should be able to know that okay, fine, this is the number of people that they want to take mm. fly from point A to point B, and not begin to sell ticket and sell ticket. By the time you sell so much ticket, mm. you begin to have these problems, you know, and. I don't know. It, just like uh, DQ, it, uh, Epi seems to be the only airline that has that is going to virtually everywhere. Mm, at the point in time, he bomb. So you know, he, he, no, he just say bomb. Just, we just move at that time. But now but you can't. Now put it sometimes again. Can, you can't. Even, they are, they are but they are still very, time. very. At least still the delay the rate should be like almost it. It can't delay you. Hardly will they delay you like that. Like yeah. the, way, the way they delay. No, no, that one is that no, one is no, that what, one is a spiritual what, what, problem. Right. <laughs> that one is a spiritual From problem. From six p.m. <laughs> See, to four a.m. You have just gone down what to, to enter Ekele de Luchi. Air peace. Max <laughs> oh God bless you, Wanta. Air peace. Max Air. Eric Air. Most guilty. Mm. As fifty-five percent of domestic flights delayed in quarter one of twenty twenty-three were by them. So just these uh, airlines. Airpiece, Piece, Max Air, Arik Air, just three of them mm. accounted for 55% of delays. And I, I think Arik, after Air Piece, mm. they have the highest number of. There was the day I told a, a friend that um, I bought um, Dana ticket. He was like, eh, Dana? So mm. I don't say, yes, I bought Dana ticket. <laughs> so they delayed the flight for one hour. I said, ha, I don't enter. Then later, I now called, they now said, okay, they want to, we should start uh, boarding. I called and say, he said, are you sure? I say, yeah, are you sure it's that? I say, look again. <laughs> you know, when people begin to have doubts mm -hmm. about a, a particular airline, you know, it becomes a very big problem. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes the plane will be on ground. Yes. Then exactly. That's no guarantee understand. that you will go. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I think if people begin to sue airlines, mm -hmm. you know, airlines will begin to cut the number of locations and places that they are going to. Mm. And so that people will now know that if I'm saying 6 o'clock, I have to leave at 6. Mm. If I want to leave at 8. Because so many people have high up, so many people have lost jobs because they want to just, just fly from mm. Lagos to Abuja or Abuja to Lagos. And the airlines will do nothing. They will keep quiet. If you go there, the they don't even West. have no, no explanation whatsoever. The one that is annoying is the one that you just said. They, will, they know that they have that problem. They will now say, okay, fine, then after two hours, they will keep... They, when once the, the first announcement comes, mm. the second announcement, they won't say anything after one hour. The third one, they will start sharing biscuits. I mean, 
That, that, that is. That's that, that, <laughs> and you know, food in the airport is very expensive. Very expensive. So if you food. want to load your belly, <laughs> no, in the airport, airport huh? yeah, the we kind we of go. money you will spend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is what they force people <laughs> into spending. Also, yeah, what you don't want to yes, spend. Yes, what you don't want to spend. They force you into spending. If they were to leave on time. What are you waiting for? Waiting. Check you in. You are by the next few minutes. You are out. You know, but fifty minutes. Well, by then you stay in the airport and uh, you are, you feel very hungry. You look in the direction of those there are mm. little restaurants here. By the time you get there, you find that you are spending five thousand six thousand mm -hmm. mm, to eat a decent you. meal. Yeah, so, see you. You see, uh, take the money for the ambience. <laughs> <laughs> they have the the way, of course, sir. <laughs> you want to for the airport. Uh -huh. um, the other day, we wanted to do a program. I said, I told him to go inside one of the, um, the VIP, VIP lounge. lounges there. I said, get into the place. You can do the program from there. You know, to a journalist and girl that day. I was telling him, I said that this person will be forced to spend money. <laughs> And I'm not giving him money <laughs> to go and use a place that where is. he will spend money. Mm. If you eat biscuits and tea and coffee mm -hmm. in some of those lounges in Abuja, mm. six thousand. Uh, you just the it's kind of money that, that is that six thousand. You know, just biscuits. Just, yes, uh, just six can you imagine? So yeah. the, the the airlines really need to help us. Even mm. international flights who are not uh, out of the picture. I said thirty nine percent of international flights operated in Nigeria in the really? first quarter 39. of twenty twenty three were delayed. Wow. First quarter of twenty twenty three. Out of one thousand one hundred and fourteen international flights operated in January, seven were called off. On February in February thirteen out of eight eighty seven were cancelled. Okay. So the in, in terms of averages, in terms of percentage, the foreign airlines are doing much better. Better. Mm. But our domestic airlines, mm. no, 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 no. Okay, I have a caller. Monday Oruwali is calling us from Kano. Thank you, Monday. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, Monday. I'm not Monday. My name is Sunday. Sunday Oruwali from Sunday. Kano. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, Sunday. Please, I, I, want to make, I want to make a condition to the topic we are discussing now. That the uh, airlines, to airlines mm. to pay compensation. Go on. Go on. Are you, are you, are you, go ahead. Go ahead. You. Go on. Life. Yes, I, I want to share my experience. You know, um, I had I had a nasty experience with uh, the, the defunct IRS owned by Sister Kurabi okay. in Kano. We we were we were to leave uh, Kano Airport for for um, Abuja and Lagos that time. I left off here and then I was in, in the public like, hospital bank. I closed some office around around two o'clock and the flight was scheduled for four for four p.m. We we left after after four and a flight that was scheduled. To, to go to Abuja, if passengers are then go to Lagos. That when we go to when we go to Abuja, that 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 flight was diverted because of they said they were looking for they were looking for passengers, and it was only East Africa. From from uh, when we go to Abuja, they could not get enough passengers. We went to Kotako to pick passengers. There were no enough passengers. Yes, passengers. You come all the way with that. In fact, the flight was diverted again to the temple airport in the. They could not get enough passengers again. Again? They have to go to another another airport. Before now going to going to Lagos. We we had we thought the aircraft touched down on the local Lagos airport at twelve AM. And I was I was going to Ibadan. I was going to be with my family. I was I was on a flight. <laughs> that what the guy wanted to fight. Why? He was traveling with his family. They had the flight to catch in the night. So the flight was delayed. Oh, that's an international flight. We were already inside the aircraft. Mm. Take off. They didn't take off. Mm. So he knew that he would miss that international, international flight, flight in Lagos because he was already expecting that at least he would get there and connect. So he was telling that if few people don't leave now, I will cause problems, this and that, this and that. But they didn't. They didn't leave. Mm. They said they were looking for fuel. The fuel really? gauge, the fuel gauge of the aircraft didn't work. 
So, without knowing the exact quantity of uh, of uh, oh, aviation fuel oh, in, the, in the tank, they were not prepared to move, and there was no fuel. You know what they eventually did? They now took us to Portacourt. Say Portacourt was close. They took us to Portacourt. It was at Portacourt that they got fuel and filled up before that guy. You know, because by filling up, that was their guarantee that whatever mm -hmm. happens, they won't run out of fuel. Mm. They didn't say this to everybody. It was when, when we came down, the journalists in me pushed me to confront one of the, the senior uh, cabin crew person. Mm. And I said, ah, why did you people do this to us now? Why? And I said, ah, we cannot, if we announce that this was what it was, it was cause panic. But this was what happened. So when we got to uh, Port Harcourt, we called our bosses. They said, okay, go to Port Harcourt. There is fuel well there. The we, now, uh, we now put sufficient fuel before we started going. You know? So this thing, right. these things happen. Mm -hmm. It's just terrible. Mm -hmm. And finally, disturbed by the tension over the controversy 